everybody welcome back to Sarah J awesome so I'm actually trying to hurry up and do this little video real quick before the Tesla service people get here so after the holiday update I didn't have any issues with my car and then there was another update that came out which was for bug fixes and that was software update 2020 48 26 a few days after that on um, January 3rd I noticed that there was an error when I got in my car that said autopilot cameras temporarily unavailable. Now I've had this happen before and it was just because I needed to clean the cameras, but I noticed that it didn't say specifically what camera was dirty like it normally does. So I got out, I cleaned all the cameras that didn't fix the issue. It still said autopilot cameras temporarily unavailable. So I'm like, what the heck? So I, there was an actual like, error message, a little triangle at the top of the screen, which I'll show you guys. Plus there was a little error message by the car, like a little symbol. And then also said autopilot cameras temporarily unavailable. I started messing around with it, trying to figure out <clears throat> if it was a software issue, if it was some kind of bug or if there was some kind of issue with the actual camera. I still was able to use autopilot, so that was kind of weird that it said autopilot camera is temporarily unavailable, auto steer temporarily unavailable, but it still let me put it in auto steer and it was still driving like normal. So then I started checking the cameras. I hit the camera symbol on my screen and I noticed that um, the driver door camera was just, the screen was completely black. This camera right in front of the driver door is not connecting. Oh, it's actually flashing. What the heck? It has not done that before. Oh, huh. and actually it's not even doing the little circle anymore like it's thinking. So I did figure out that it was the driver door camera. It wasn't connecting to the car at all. So I, there was a software update 2020 4830, which was another um, bug fix. So I first noticed the problem on January 3rd on, on a Sunday and then I tried to do the software update and I rebooted my car three different ways on January 5th. So the three ways that you can um, reboot the car just so you know is you one you can hold down both of the scroll buttons until the car screen goes black and then you release those buttons you wait like a minute or two and the screen will come back on and reboot itself. The second harder way to reboot your car is you hold down both scroll buttons and the brake pedal until the screen goes black and then you just let go of everything and wait for the screen to come back on on its own again once two minutes. And then a third way is um, the hardest reboot. You can actually go to um, uh, safety and security and then you're going to hit power off and the car will power off and then you just push down on the brake pedal after you've waited about five minutes or so is how long I waited and for that when you hit the brake pedal then it will bring the car back on it doesn't reboot on its own as far as I know um, when you do that power off so tried software and rebooting those three different ways it didn't fix my issue with my camera um, then I got out of the car pushed on the driver camera to see if maybe it just wasn't connected to the car the way maybe it came out when I was, you know, letting people test drive my car and they were going a little fast and stuff. Maybe it came loose a little bit. That wasn't the issue either. So I scheduled on January 6th in the Tesla mobile app for January 10th to get it serviced and at my home. Then they replied back and said, um, the same day, yes we'll confirm we can do it at your house no issues and then later they messaged me in the tesla app and by email so we'll have to schedule it for um the next available date is january 11th which is on a monday so i'm like i have to work monday that's not going to work for me so they said okay well you can reschedule it for um you know the next weekend so i scheduled it for january 17th they messaged me back and said they actually could still come on the 10th, but I didn't get that message because it's the weekend now and I, I don't check my email basically on the weekend or um, my message is too much. I'm too busy with the kids and everything. So I um, expected them to come on the 17th, which is still super fast. 
and I was in my kitchen this morning cooking, I got a phone call from an unknown number and it was the Tesla service guy and he said, hey, uh, my name is Jose. Um, I, we didn't get a reply from you in the app from our last message, but we can actually still come today if that's okay with you. He's like, I'm in the area. I could be there in 15 minutes or so. Or if you'd like, we can still um, reschedule you for the 17th if today is no longer good for you. And I said, it is raining a little bit, so is that going to be an issue because I can't pull the car in the garage? And he said, no, it shouldn't be an issue. It's not raining too bad. I'm already in the area. So I'm waiting for him to get here. Should be here any minute. He said it would be, be about 15 minutes after he called me. Oh my gosh, yay, they're here. Okay, so we're going to get started on this service appointment. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Here's the Tesla service guy. Ooh, I'm so excited. He said that it shouldn't be a big issue and he pretty much already knows what the issue is, so we're going to find out. Okay, so he um, arrived at 11.17. The phone call was at... Um, 11.02 this morning and my original appointment was from 8 to 1 um, today so that is still within the time schedule of our original appointment. I explained to him for like one minute what the issue was with the car. He said yeah it's no problem I think we already diagnosed the problem remotely. Um, it's going to be an issue with the driver door camera I think and if I can't get it to reconnect then I'm just going to change out the whole camera so it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm like okay awesome. He asked for my um, key card for the car and I went inside. We both had our masks on and everything. I went and waited in my house. So he started the repair at about 1121. At 1157, I heard what I thought was an air pump in the driveway. So I got super excited because I actually have been having a problem with the air pressure. Um, when I took delivery of the car in the summertime, the PSI and the tires was 41 to 42 pounds. But now that it's been a little bit colder here, about 40 to 50 degrees. Um, my tire pressure is about 38 in the morning when it's super cold. And then once I'm driving on the freeway, it heats up to 41, 42 PSI. So once it gets below 40, so once it hits 39 pounds of pressure, the light, the tire pressure light has been coming on like every morning. And then it goes off in the afternoon because the air and the tire warms up after friction on the road and heat during the day when it gets warmer, you know, it goes from like 42 degrees to like 78 by the afternoon. It's crazy. So, um, you know, it's been coming on every morning and going off every afternoon. So I was like, Hey, I was like, are you, um, are you airing up the tires? And he was like, yeah, I'm just putting a little bit in here. So your tire pressure light will go off. And I was like, thank you so much. I actually was going to ask you to put some air in the tires, but I completely forgot about it. He's like, yeah, I went ahead and put all of them at 45. So you shouldn't have this issue anymore. I was like, so what was the issue with the camera? And he said that they've been having this camera connection issue with a lot of the cars and they believe that it's a manufacturer defect from where, wherever they were paying to manufacture these cameras for them. They're having a lot of issues and they think that when they basically solder the wires together in the camera, it's not a good hold, not a good solder. And so there it's coming apart. So the camera is disconnecting from the car. So he said, September 2020 models and current, they've changed the complete manufacture of the um, the cameras on the driver and passenger panels. So they're not using that manufacturer anymore because they kept screwing up the cameras. So now it's a whole new manufacturer making these cameras and he went ahead and just switched out my um, driver's side uh, door panel camera completely. So, so that camera now is actually a completely different manufacturer from the one on the um, passenger side. So he said I shouldn't have any more issues because they're using a new company to make these cameras for them and they're hoping that that should uh, fix the issue. It was completely free of charge. It cost me not even one penny to fix these issues, put air on the tire, come to my house, fix it in under an hour. He fixed, he showed up and arrived and fixed the car and left in 50 minutes exactly like and it didn't cost me a single thing it's on a Sunday because I was like I'm not gonna do this Monday through Friday because I have to work just like most people so I can only do it on the weekend it is freaking amazing I'm so happy yeah I mean what what else are you gonna say to that it's freaking awesome no other car company will come to your house and freaking fix your car for free on the weekend what 
I don't know. I'm just like shocked right now. I'm I'm in my pajamas again, my holiday pajamas that I like did my last um I'm in my pajamas. Okay, like I I did not plan on doing this video today. I didn't even plan on them showing up today and I was like I have to come out here and like show you guys this experience because I didn't believe that it was going to happen. I thought for sure like they were going to reschedule and I was going to have to go to the Tesla service center again, take off work and all this stuff and get an Uber and everything. No, they came to my house for free and fix it in under an hour on the weekend. Amazing. In the rain, in the rain too. And they were like, it's totally fine. I can't believe they did it. I'm still shocked right now that my car is fixed. So let's take a look at this and see if it's actually fixed. Um, before I do that, he did say that when I get back in my car, I just drive the car for 10 to 50 miles and it will recalibrate the cameras on its own and it should be totally fixed. Um, he said it might be, you know, capable of using autopilot before it recalibrates, but preferably don't use it, you know, until you drive at least 50 miles and, and let it fix itself. So, um, that's totally fine. I'm not going to need that tomorrow. I have to drive, you know, 75 miles for work anyway. So by the time I get home tomorrow, my cameras will already be recalibrated. Let's take a look here and see if this is actually fixed. <gasps> It's working! No issues at all. I don't have that um, little service sign up here. I don't have the warning over here. Everything is totally fixed. I hope this video wasn't too long. I know I rambled just a little bit, but I wanted to explain to you guys exactly how this works when you, you know, schedule your service appointment and um, how it should be. Oh, I also asked the guy, um, because you know, I did change out the puddle lights and the trunk lights as well. And I asked him if that would void any kind of warranty with the car. And he said, it's not an issue at all. He said the only time there would be a void of warranty is if you put aftermarket products and then they directly cause an issue with the car, they break something, that specific thing that it broke, that warranty will be voided. And you'll have to pay for the repairs on that tiny little issue, whatever it may cause. It's an isolated issue. It doesn't void the warranty on the whole car. I've had absolutely no issues with my Tesla puddle lights at all. I freaking love them. Trunk lights, love them. Um, if you if you watch my video, then you know all about those. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy that I talked to him because I was kind of worried when they came out. I'm like, oh, if I do aftermarket stuff, like, am I going to void my warranty? Or are they going to be like, hey, we're not fixing any of this stuff because you did this one little thing to your car. No, they're totally cool about it. It's no issue at all. So I am 100% satisfied with the Tesla mobile service. I am amazed. I am completely freaking amazed. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below or, um, I've been super active on Twitter. You can message me on there. You can message me on Instagram. Same name on there. And um, yeah, so that's it for today. I wasn't even expecting to do this video and here it is, my first Tesla service appointment success. So if you guys like this video, please like it. If you wanna see more videos, please subscribe. I will see you guys next time.